Okay guys, the pulley drop down rig. Now the pulley drop down rig is an ideal rig to use for targeting a lot of different species of fish. Whether you're targeting rays, bass, turbot, sole, flounder, place, you can use it cod, you could use that, the rig for a lot of different species. I'm going to put together the pulley drop down rig for you today which I would put together for targeting rays. Now I'm actually going to use it and, and the rigs I'm going to use, what I'm making today for spotted rays and um, I'm going to go through the rig now. Before we go into it, just another little hints and tips for, for your rig making and that. At the end of the day for catching fish, it's all about being prepared and one of the things I like to do with my rig making, as you can see here, uh, I've got three boxes, okay? So I've got the first one, second one, the leader storage rig boxes and um, I've got swivels in one with um, some uh, bits and pieces, I've got beads and crimps and lead lifts and uh, little one ounce leads and booms and uh, just loads of it really, sequins and bits and pieces in that one and then this one here has got the full Monty, so in this one here it's, it's basically, as you can see there, it's, it's quite full um, and I basically store all my swivels and clips and stuff like um, springs and rotten bottoms and imps and proper pulley beads and stuff like that in there. Now, I'll go through some other bits and pieces in, in, in later rigs what I like to use for rig making, but by having all the bits and pieces there, it enables you to make some rigs. So if you're sitting around on a Saturday or a Sunday, not a lot on the telly or that, or even if there's stuff on the telly, it's an ideal time to make some rigs up. And I, uh, I like to make my rigs up and store them in rig winders. We'll go through that a bit later on in a different uh, rig making episode. But uh, it just makes me prepared. So if I do come home from work and I think to myself that the conditions are right, the weather is perfect, the tides are good for a certain mark, I haven't got to go sit down and make loads of rigs up. You know what I mean? It's a, lot of, a lot of the time with angling, it's about having everything prepared for those for, the, for that, that that right time. If you know it's the right time to get down somewhere, last thing you want to be doing is going down and, and sitting down and having to make loads of rigs, respawn your reels and stuff like that. Everything needs to be ready and prepared. It's one of the big step, big things into into catching fish. And, and a lot of different venues will, as you, a lot of people progress with their angling, will learn when an area does fish and where it doesn't fish. And having everything ready just helps maintain you being at that venue at that right time and hopefully catching that fish you're after. So I'm going to go through the first rig. Um, so here I, here I am again. I've got the uh, ASO 80 pound shock leader. I've got the Rovex 10 times shock leader. I've got a couple of leads here at the minute. I've got my uh, hook puller. I have some swivels. Crane swivels, stingless, um, imps, and proper bullies and that. So we'll just get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make these rigs, what I'm going to make today, about four foot long. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is use the scissors, like so, and then I'm going to get my imp. Okay, and uh, we're going to attach that on first of all. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my line down through my imp, I'm going to put my thumb in between and I'm going to bring the, the, the rig body line around four or five times. I'm going to go down through the hole that I've created and then back up through the other hole I've just created. Lots of sliver and then that knot will slide right down nice and tight. I'll get my lead okay, and we'll clip that lead straight on. Perfect. Okay, so that's the first. That's the first thing. It's exactly the same as a pulley rig. This is really slip off the access line. So that's your rig body. So we'll put that one right down there now. So my next thing I'm going to be using is the rubber Rovec beads. So I'm going to put the rubber the first bead down. Okay, as so. The next step I'm going to use are these bent link clips. Okay. This is a Cox and Raw version, and I'll tell you why I like this version of them. Some of them can be really short on the uh, on the clip, what comes part, what comes off that. These aren't. These are perfect. They're absolutely ideal. Sometimes when you cast in with um, different brands, branded versions of this, they can come off in in air, and I, I don't find that, that that I get this problem with these by using these um, ones there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on, then I'm going to put a, a swivel. So that's a 240 pound. Stainless steel swivel there from Cox and Rule, and I'm going to slide that. So basically, 
the eye of it comes down as you would do an eye of a hook and it just slides down like that okay that's the front next step then you've got another bead so I'll put the other bead down as so okay and then a proper pulley clip okay just not the clip itself just a proper pulley as we said in the pulley brig video I don't use those clips I normally use the normal um, lead link clip um, and they, it's perfect for the job so that'll go down like that then okay and then another one to finally cushion the top knot which is a rubber bead going down there again and then I'm using on the top an 80 pounds 80 pound swivel okay little, little small swivel and the reason I'm doing that is because that is what's going to connect to the bent link clip okay so I'm going to bring that down five times okay slava hook hook puller so we can get that one in properly okay as so really give it some nice very nice now I'll cut that off okay so that's it that's basically the body of the pulley drop down rig as you can see that will go up like slide up like that and it leaves everything else low it throwing down so the way this rig works basically as it clips up with a trace line on it, it will clip into that top swivel okay and uh, as you can see there it comes down nicely if I let go of that now to slide right down so when that hits the water that will release and it will lo leave a long flowing trace flapping around away from the lead if you're fishing anywhere with tide that's perfect because your lead is mounted to the seabed okay so, and then your trace line is flapping in whatever way the tide is pulling well away from your lead really good place rig um, I've had some fantastic place over the years on that of it I've had flounder on this rig at distance and when I'm fishing some of the estuaries where you need to it out into the uh, into the channels and that it really is a cracking rig so um, and obviously lots and lots and lots of rays turbo um, and yeah it's, it's just an all-round good rig really so that is the main rig body what I would do is I'll make maybe 10, 10 of them up put them to the side like that and then I'll get on and make them do the next bit so with the next bit same again it's, 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 it's exactly the same method as we did with the pulley rig so I'm going to take my asso line okay and um, I'm going to bring the line around the bent link clip okay so don't forget it doesn't go with the pulley it all on this one it goes with the bent link clip and the swivel I'm going to put the line through as so and then go once twice three times four times five times back down through the hole I use the same knot for everything guys this, this really is easy slava and we'll just pull that down very nicely okay what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to get the hook puller I put that in the swivel and I'm going to pull I'm going to pull that down not down as far as it will go which is perfect okay once I've done that then I'm going to trim the excess off the line and that that really is ready to, ready for the, for the rig now to be set so I'm going to get the top of the pulley put it proper pulley put my link clip into the top swivel I'm going to allow it just to have a little a couple mil, say five mil from the top. I'm going to bring that right the way down to my imp where it's connected. That's set. Okay. And drop that down now. Take my fingers over and know exactly where I've got to cut it. And just cut it as so. Simple as that. Okay. Um, what I'm going to use then is I'm going to use a full row octopus. I'm going to put that, that straight down the line. And then I'm going to put a rubber bead as I went through before. The reason for, for doing so is to cushion the bottom hook knot. And as I said in the pulley rig video, sometimes when you're ray fishing, the, it'll be the second hook, the pedal hook, what actually connects to the fish. And um, if you've just got it 
towed around, it, it can untie and pull down and put a lot of pressure on that bottom hook knot. And if 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 it did damage a knot and that hook come off, that would your the ever hook would just slide down off and the fish would be gone with a hook in its mouth. You don't want that, guys. You want to be obviously making sure that everything is looked after and then every all your knots are protected. So I've done that knot again. I've brought that down to the bottom end of the hook this time to make sure it's set correctly okay because if I, di I didn't do so when I went to go and put that back on it could be longer now I know it's gonna have a couple of mil obviously where I've done the the, um, the twists in the knot okay then I'm gonna bring that up through there as so if we can get it through the hole made it a little bit small there there we go, I'll pull that straight back down. I know that's set now. So all I'm gonna do is take the top of the rig, put the lead on the floor, put the length lead vent link clip into the top swivel, and then bring the hook point down on the 5-0 uptide extra. That's a 5-0 uptide extra, guys. As I said, a lot of the time when I'm targeting small lines and stuff, I will specifically use five or six O hooks, specimen extra hooks. The uptide hook is it's an ideal but it's ideal hook to use as well. Um, it's it's a lovely shape of hook, very sharp, very strong, and um, it presents a bit bluey bait or a sound deal bait, whatever you need to to do. As I said, this rig I'm making now is specifically you. I'm going to be specifically using it for targeted spotted ray, and um, it's as simple as that. Quality components and everything you need and everything you need to do to make the pulley rig, pulley drop down rig. And um, as I said, it's not it's not one of the, it's one of the easiest rigs to use. I've actually got that clip to the lead there now. So if I uh, I'll put that on the imp, as you can see. A lot of people struggle when they're on the beach with it, but it is simple. You just obviously put your put your rod down. What I normally do is put it on my shoulder, then I'll clip that like so. That'll be connected up, and then I'll bring that down onto the imp like that. <laughs> it's a lot easier when you're um, when you've got it connected to to the rod. Okay, so that will go in like that. Yep, tied extra will go down to there, and there it is. All clipped down, ready for casting. A little bit of bluey bit, a little bit of sand deal. Try your luck, you never know, it could be done. But that, ladies and gents, is a pulley drop down rig. But uh, don't forget to give the page and the video a like, and uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, always pop on to the Facebook page and say hello. There's a lot of our guys on the admins from the Sea Angler Ventures team always on there to help answer questions and different bits and pieces. But from me, today, to the next time.